Alright, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. For today's video, we are going to be doing a trophy truck build. So I guess let's go ahead and head over here to the dealership and let's buy the truck we want to use. So I see a lot of people use this truck right here. So let's just use this one and let's go ahead and start customizing this thing as far as the body. Let's see for the front bumper there. What do we want to use? Maybe... Let's see right here. Okay, so maybe that bumper right there. Now the wheels, so the fenders. Let's kind of do those fenders. I think those look pretty good. And then let's see. So maybe that bumper there. And as far as the bed. Oh, a flatbed trophy truck. Okay. I don't guess so, but you know, hey, that could be cool. Um, Let's see. What else do we want right here? I think maybe right there. Okay, we'll go with that. And these steps maybe like those steps those are kind of cool all right so let's do this light right here okay that looks pretty good too now for the snorkel are we going to do a snorkel i don't guess we will on this build let's see now for the tire where should we put the tire maybe in the bed of the truck yeah because i don't really think that looks right right there okay we'll just put the tire right there and let's see yeah we don't need those do we need this okay we don't need that light let's see okay so that isn't too bad right there we'll leave that the winch, okay, yeah, I'm not liking that winch on there. So the jack, okay, I think we can leave the jack up there. That don't look too bad. So we got that. Now let's get our repair pack there. All right, so we have all of those mods done. Let's go ahead and apply those. All right, so I guess let's go ahead and go to our paint right here. Let's see, maybe the black and do the glossy. The glossy looks pretty good. All right, maybe we should just do like a blacked out truck or should we do like a white? I don't know, that white looks really good too. Even the red, I really, I really like the red also. So let's see here, maybe a lime green. Oh gosh, imagine that. Let's see. So the color, what color do we want, you guys? Oh, that orange is kind of cool. Okay, that orange is really cool. All right, I like that. That looks really, really good. Okay, so we have that there. That's gonna be our color. Now, as far as the rims go, and now as far as the rims, what do we want to use? Now, let's see, maybe like a orange color kind of on them. Okay, so I think those match right there. Okay, so now we can just kind of scroll through and pick what we like. No, I don't think any of these. Okay, we'll just kind of leave that there for a second. And for this back rim, what do we want? Okay, so let's go here. Go ahead and get this all the way up. All right, we're just going to kind of match the paint of the truck if we can that may be a little much so we may actually go back and change that who knows i just need the rims to be as big as they'll go that way i can tell where i'm at with everything all right so wheel radius we're gonna need that up i'd say about right there and then this up to about right there okay rim size definitely needs to come down so maybe right there rim size in the back maybe right there like that all right that doesn't look too bad there maybe we should do that all right so we got our rim sizes there I think what I'm going to do is go to customize. I think I'm going to change the color. Let's do like a black. I think a black would look really good on this. So let's do black and then the chrome. All right. So the spoke just like that. And then maybe look, maybe if we do the bead that color, let's see. Yeah. I think that looks way better. Just doing the bead. Yep. Go do this. Just like that. All right. Yep. Okay. So we got our bead done there let's see what else do we need to do let's kind of adjust maybe some of the decals what can we put on here maybe some flames okay no no Let, let's not do those maybe these all right so maybe i'll put that there do this duplicate okay that actually looks pretty cool right there i kind of like the way that looks so that looks pretty cool right there i'm liking that so let's use this again just like this which one did i use actually All right, so we got to put our one right there. So let's see. Just like. All right, so we got that there. Let's duplicate. Okay, let's see. Kind of go down, kind of go down some more. Let's see. What if we put something like coming out of that right there? Maybe that. And then kind of duplicate that and put it right here. Maybe. I don't know how I feel about that though. I kind of want to take that off. All right. So we have that. That looks pretty cool. Not going to lie. Now, what else could we do? Maybe add the number. Maybe add like my number on the hood. So let's see here. Add text. Let's go ahead and do. Which ones do we want to do? Maybe this. Let's just do. Let's just do this right here. All right. Type in the number here. 72. All right. Hey, that looks pretty cool. 
Just put 72 on the hood of the truck. All right, so we got 72 on the front of the truck. Hey, that don't look too, too bad. All right, so I'm not sure how I feel about that, though. I may change that, but who knows? All right, now as far as the tires go, let's see. We need the best for sand. I think I already passed the really good ones. Okay, yeah. All righty, so we got our tires picked out right there let's see what else do we want to do now suspension so we are going to need to make some changes of course let's go to axis width like this go ahead and get that out let's see i'd say maybe about right there so we'll kind of see how we feel about that later on all right so i kind of want the front a little bit wider than the back now tune suspension axis width we got that let's see we need to adjust the let's see there's leaf spring right there go ahead and get that all the way up stiffness okay so that is something we need to mess around with all right, so let's put that let's start at about 14 for the front and then for the back we'll kind of do like a 15 and now this is a baja truck so you know we got that to think about too all right so maybe right there all right so let's make the back a little bit wider right there all right so about right there okay that looks pretty good pretty good now what else do we need okay so our tire width the width of our tires let's kind of make this about right let's see so maybe about right there all right so now the back let's go ahead and make this about right there okay that looks pretty good we got our baja truck right there now as far as the damping in the front let's kind of put this right around 32 and then the damping for the back is kind of going to be so let's kind of put that uh, at about i'm going to start at 28 i right, just kind of take this rear up just a little bit it's so right there all right that looks pretty good there let's see what else do we need to add i think we're looking pretty good to be honest let's see axis width kind of check this it does not need to be that wide but definitely about that wide i'd say yeah and then the back so let's kind of make this right here let's see i think we're looking pretty good now now on the back i kind of want to put something here all right so let's do this go to the back this all right i want to type seven two there we go all right let's see should we do it straight like that or just kind of do it at an angle i think that looks pretty cool all right so yeah maybe that right there 72 then we got the 72 on the back okay that looks pretty cool looks pretty good there all right so we got our baja racing f-150 here so what else do we need to do i think we're pretty close guys we just need to go ahead and upgrade this thing so engine power let's get that up all the way like this and grip and weight and now durability go ahead and get that up e-brake we'll put that on so twin turbo of course here we come all right i think we're pretty close now i guess let's go ahead and hop over to my map and you guys like i said i did have to show you something and that is gonna be money crates that is right so money crates are now in my map look at this here is one right here for example look just like this here is a money crate right here all right so of course you're just gonna go up to it and tap on it like that so you get 752 dollars so now let's leave let's go this way usually there are some more this way so let's kind of go around here let's kind of look there'll kind of be some like all in this line right here okay so yeah there's another one right there usually sometimes this will be like two right beside each other let's kind of do this all right so we got 874 cash and six gold okay so all right so look there is still another there so we're gonna click again all right so we got 403 cash with seven gold look at there now i think it's mainly down through here in this little section so let's see yeah i think so let's not let's not wreck our truck there'll be some like all up and through here so right now guys go to my map kind of look around see if you see any and let me know in the comments so this is what i wanted to show you guys i cannot believe that there are money crates in the map right now huge huge thanks to the devs for putting those in there i really do appreciate that now that i've showed you guys all of that i guess i'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here if you guys did enjoy this be sure to like comment and subscribe turn on those post notifications make sure they are set to all the way you don't miss any of the videos i upload i'll see you guys in the next one
Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? 